Hey everyone, Flint Truth Channel here. Gonna play a video back from 2013. It's actually a commercial. And then we're gonna have a little discussion. As you guys can hear the satanic evil music in the background, it's Sympathy for the Devil. Uh, as you see the devil right there, this, which is this Defoe character, he's playing the devil. And uh, let's watch the video. Sure is. Make a deal with me, kid. You can have. Nice car. Sure is. As you can see right there, his Masonic ring and then his devil ring right there. Let me see if I can draw an arrow to it. And as you can see, it's right there. Um, obviously, I apologize that. Um, that's blocking it, but as you can see right there, there it is, and uh, in your face, couldn't be more in your face as he's trying to get this guy to sign a deal with the devil, look at his nails. Make a deal with me, kid, you can have the car and everything that goes along with it. Please allow me to introduce myself, I'm a So you see now he is sitting there, this is what the devil offers him. And people need to understand this, that for the time being, as the Bible tells us, Satan is the god of this world, okay? And this is how he tricks uh, the masses. This is how he tricks the people, you know, with their little puppets. But they all want fortune and fame. They all want money. Just like this guy, he wants to drive the Mercedes. He wants to um, knock elbows with the rich, per se. And so Satan gives him a flash that says, hey, if you sign for me, this is what your life will be. And if you watch all the things he shows, it's like a rock star's life, a celebrity's life. You know, these people, once they sell out, it's how their life is, you know. He's got the woman. Now he's hanging with Usher. Now he's got the car. Heading to Las Vegas. He's international. As you can see, they just showed him like over in Japan. Korea. Now he's on the cover of Vanity Fair. He's got all these people loving him and wanting his attention. They're idolizing him, of course. Idolatry. And as you can hear the music in the background, sympathy for the devil. Also, the Mercedes emblem, okay? It's the broken crow's foot. It's a powerful occultic spellcasting symbol. And then right there, there's the contract right there. The demons. Let's let's play it. Right there, he wants them to get him to sign the contract. And now a lot of people are gonna sit here and be like, oh well this is just you know it's fake, it's a commercial, it's this, that, the other. Understand, this is truth in your face. This is what these people do. All these people that say, oh, they're monarch butterflies, where these people are taken, you know, and, and, and their minds are controlled, and they have these handlers, and they can't think for themselves, and they're told what um, satanic hand gestures to do, they're, sold, they're told what to wear, they're told what to say, and all this crap. That's absolutely a bunch of crap, okay? These people sell out to Satan willfully, knowingly, um, and they have no problem doing it, because they want the riches and fame that comes with it. Okay, so don't get it twisted. Uh, as you guys can see right there, Diablos uh, and the Demon, look, the Magister. Absolutely ridiculous. It's right in your face, but people will never see it. And again, going right back to right here. Let me go back to it where it shows his masonry. Right there, as you guys can see, the mason ring. That's not really the greatest shot, and I do apologize. You can see his long devil nails right there. I'll try to pause it right on there. Okay, so as you guys can see right there, it's a pretty good shot of the devil ring and the Masonic ring. And it lets you know who's in control. Now, this was 2013, and uh, it was obviously the same year as the Baltimore Ravens and the San Francisco 33-minute um, power outage. Well, I'm sure a lot of you guys are familiar with that. And again, 
this is just symbolic for the truth. Okay, if you're willing to sell out to Satan, then understand uh, he will give you certain riches. He will give you certain things. And that's all these people do. These Taylor Swifts and all these people and all, a lot of people want to comment and a bunch of other stuff that they're mind controlled and that they don't know what they're doing. That's not true. Okay. Um, maybe a long, long time ago, you know, they would go recruit people that didn't know 100%. And I don't even believe that. Okay, I believe that these people willfully know exactly what they're doing and they intentionally sell out because they want riches, they want fortune and fame. Okay? Their eyes blind them. Okay, they're Brian Denlingers. All they see is money. Okay? And that's what they want. They want the fame, the fortune, the idolatry. And again, as you guys can see, power out is stopped, Super Bowl 33 for 33 minutes. Uh, and this was February 2013, the same uh, year that this Mercedes commercial came out also 2013 it was a Super Bowl commercial ad and of course you have the Ravens versus the 49ers and who won the game the Ravens which I find co coincidence I find it a, a coincidence I guess you could say that the Baltimore Ravens just happens to equal 66 in Pythagoras numer uh, numerology and 51 in Chaldean you put the five and the one together you get a six right so you get the six 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 so Satan has to let everybody know that he's behind all this. Freemason reality, um, implications and uh, meditations concerning events and trends in the Masonic world, Masonic education, ethics, and philosophy, Freemasonry in the media and popular entertainment, response, responses to anti-Masonry, my personal experience as a Freemason. Absolutely ridiculous. I don't know why that's on the top up there. Um, but moving down... Saturday, February 2nd, 2013, as I told you guys, it was during the Super Bowl. Tomorrow, during the fourth quarter of television broadcast of the Super Bowl, Mercedes-Benz will officially unveil its commercial for the all-new CLA class automobile. And also the whole Mercedes thing where, you know, you got to be pretty much elite, you know, a, a made person to even drive one and be able to afford one. Uh, unveil its commercial for its all-new CLA class automobile. It's a terrific commercial. <laughs> Absolutely ridiculous. Unfortunately, it's also a monumental uh, libel upon Freemasonry. You can see the commercial for yourself here. The commercial features the talented William Defoe shown above. Yeah, talented, ridiculous. And the great turn is Satan. See, these Masons, Masons, see, the ones at the top know what it's about. They know exactly that Masonry is nothing but a, filter, a filtration system for Luciferianism. Okay, absolutely ridiculous. Um, and a great turn is Satan. No Defoe's character is never actually named Satan. Um, but the soundtrack features the Rolling Stones' Sympathy for the Devil. Um, more to the point, Defoe's character presents the uh, pr protagonist with a contract to sign, a contract which has already been executed under the seal of the Master of Devils and Demons, translating the Latin seen below. No reasonable person could see the commercial and think Defoe's character is anyone other than Satan or one of his minions. Absolutely, 100%. Which is exactly what I said. Here's the thing. Satan is depicted as wearing a Masonic ring on his... Boom. Satan is depicted as wearing a Masonic ring. Just like I told you guys. Okay? These Masons at the top know what it's about. The low-level Masons, you know... They're, a lot of them, most of them are clueless. And it's designed that way. Okay? Here's the thing. Satan is depicted wearing a Masonic ring on his left ring finger... Easily visible at several points in the commercial, some of which show close-up shots of Satan's hands, two shown below. And you guys can see right there with his long satanic fingernails. The pointy fingernails, the, excuse me, uh, a la the devil in the film Rosemary's Baby are especially a nice touch, don't you think? No, it's disgusting, it's vexing, it's vile, it's evil. Okay, I'm tired of seeing this stuff. Tired of it. Had enough of it. It's disgusting. And every single day... It's always paraded in our faces, and I'm just so sick of it. It's old, okay? And how people are so bewitched that they can't see it is beyond me. And I'm sorry for getting frustrated, guys, but it's frustrating to me, man. I'm tired of seeing it, and it's all over. People are going to probably come on here and fight me and tell me I don't know what I'm talking about. So, it, anyways, I apologize. The implication is clear. Mercedes-Benz links Freemasonry to Satan. Yeah, absolutely. And you guys think that that wasn't allowed at the top? Of course it was allowed at the top. Yet, it would have never allowed to get this message out, and they would have never 
allowed him to wear the rings and and pretend as Satan with the masonry behind it if they didn't want it. Yes, I know this particular ring shows the devil hasn't gotten very far in masonry, but that's not the point. There are, of course, of course, those who would say we should just ignore this in the spirit of good fun, except that it's not good fun to have to, have to answer to people who think Freemasons are devil-worshipping sat Satanists. They are. See, and this is... I'm, it's ridiculous, and I'm not going to sit here and, and read any more of this, because all they're going to do is sit here and try to, to defend uh, how it's not a evil and how they don't serve Satan, which is ridiculous, because anybody that does the research knows what the people at the stops believe and what they say. So, um, I'm not going to make this video longer than it needs to be. Uh, if you guys want to read this article, it's called the Freemason, the Freemasonic dot blogspot dot com and uh it's called freemasonry reality myth and legend and it's about the F mercedes benz super bowl commercial links to freemasonry and satan um so i'll finish it real quick actually since you guys i'll just finish it <sighs> mm, where we leave off of Last Wednesday night, I attended a special communication with the American Lodge of Research at, the, at a Masonic Hall in New York. Those in attendance heard the paper on the topic, Freemasonry and the Holocaust, Brother uh, C. Moron, which will appear later this year in the published proceedings. During the presentation, I was struck by the parallels between the situation of the German, of the German Masons in the 1930s and our Masonic situation today. To a surprisingly large extent, these Masons face the same outrageous accusations that Masons today are faced with, that Masonry is an uh, international conspiracy and so forth. The tax hall host occurred only about 40 years or so before the Nazis came to power, and many people throughout Europe believe that Masons worship Lu Lucifer. It's not just a, it's just this oh conspiracy and it hasn't been proven. It's been absolutely proven. Okay? Not only has it been proven, but it's been proven by their own work. They're so stupid, they let their own works and materials get out there and get exposed. And that's why they go to such great lengths for people not to get their hands on the truth and not to be able to get these books, you know, and I don't go buy any of these Masonic books or, or nothing like that or these evil books. But my point of when I say that is these books are some of them are $20,000 a piece. Why? Because they don't want the average person to be able to get their hands on the information that's inside of it. Because they know how damning it would be and how if somebody could get that information, it would absolutely uh, expose them. So, anyways, finishing this up real quick. Um... All this helped to create a climate where thousands and thousands of German and other Euro European Masons would be imprisoned in concentration camps and many murdered by the Nazis during the Holocaust. Which is a, a lie, okay? Because um, the, the whole Nazi where they're against Ma Masons, that's ridiculous because the king of Germany at that time, which is um, the man that everybody hates, you know... He was a mason. He was into the dark occults. He was into witchcraft. He was into the occult. Everybody knows that Alfred uh, Hitler was into black magic and the occult hard, hardcore. He was absolutely a mason, a Jesuit, and a part of all the same fraternities, okay? So it's ridiculous. Um, the Mercedes-Benz people, knowingly or not, are per perpetrating a dangerous myth. It's not a myth, it's truth. By linking Freemasonry with Satan. I think we should complain about this in, a, in great numbers. The following is the text of the email that I am sending to... Uh, ridiculous, who cares? And as you guys can see, it's Mark Collado Rivera, Rivera, a master mason of the Winter Park Lodge, number 239, free and accepted masons. Uh, the American Lodge of Research on New York. So this isn't just any Joe Blow. This is a guy at the top who's like, hey, you know. And, and you can see how in the beginning he liked it, said it was all cute and, and, and funny, and, and, and it was great. He loved the song that they were playing. He loved the, you know, all the stuff. But once he got to thinking about it and realized, oh, man, this is going to push the conspiracy theory of, of people thinking that Masons all serve Satan. Okay, it's not a conspiracy theory. It's a known revelation. It's the truth. And anybody that denies this, you know, I question you. You're either doing out of ignorance and you don't know no better. You're, you know, you're bewitched. You're, you're fooled. You're bamboozled. Or you are one of them and you are trying to intentionally lie to people and intentionally um, not get the truth out there. So I'm going to end it there. Um, thank you to each and every one of you guys. I really do appreciate you guys. 
Um, may God bless you all. And most important thing I can tell you guys is make sure you're staying in the word. Okay, open the Bible up every day. I get that everybody gets busy and that you um, get caught up in the mundane of the everyday life. But make sure that you're staying in the word because there's nothing more important than that. Um, and that's why they want a lot of these people to to stop carrying their Bibles around and start reading the Bible on their phone. Uh, I would discourage you from doing that, okay? Keep your connection and uh, keep your connection with the Creator, okay? Um, open up the Bible and read it yourself every single day, even if it's only uh, a chapter, okay? It all everything helps. It's all knowledge, and uh, you will be blessed for it. And so, that's the best advice I can give you guys. Uh, appreciate each and every one of you guys. Thank you very much. Um, been able to put out some more videos than I expected lately, so I'm thankful for that. So um, if you guys have any suggestions uh, how I can make the videos better, um, I always appreciate that. And another thing I want to tell people is try not to get so easily offended by everything. Okay, we already live in a world where everybody's offended by absolutely every single little thing. Um, understand that none of us are perfect. None of us have all the answers. Okay, you know, you might come on some of my channel and so, uh, someone like my channel, and you might think, oh, he's got. All I d promise you, I don't have all the answers. Okay, um, I'm always open to criticism. I'm always open to, um, you know, positive criticism. And if I'm wrong, I have no problem when I'm proven wrong to say, you know what, I stand corrected. That's something my father taught me when I was young. You know, I stand corrected, father. I was wrong about that. I have no problem with that. And I think a lot more of you guys should take that outlook. You know, none of us know it all. None of us are not all knowing. Um, so with that said, I just wanted to give you guys a little bit of advice. Um, so... For what it's worth, um, you know, take it or leave it. It's up to you. God bless each and every one of you. I appreciate you, and I'll catch you on the next one.